One of the biggest challenges for people is everybody wants a better quality of life. Everybody wants life to be greater, but almost all of us get stuck at times where something stops us, something prevents us from doing something that we really are capable of doing. Whether it's turning around our body or shifting a relationship or turning around our finances or just maybe just being happy and fulfilled at a different level, we get stuck with a belief of how we're not supposed to be, what we're not supposed to do, what people won't accept, what we're not capable of. Or maybe we get stuck in an emotional pattern of just being pissed off or frustrated or worried or sad or overwhelmed. Sometimes we get stuck, you know, not so much in anything, but some just some habits of doing things a certain way. And what a breakthrough simply is, is that moment in time where there's an opening. And the opening can come from a conversation. It can come from meeting somebody that inspires you. It can come from an insight. It can come from watching a movie and being moved emotionally at just that right moment. It usually comes because something kind of clicked inside of us. Something snapped us and made us look at life through a different filter in a different way. And you know it's a real breakthrough because you take that little insight, that little distinction, that little moment, or maybe that little or big emotion inside of you that says, no more, I'm gonna change this, and suddenly you do something to make your life better. You break out of the impossibility of life has to be this way or life is controlling me, and you start to take back control of your life. You start to make the shift that creates the quality of life that you really deserve. Everybody experiences extreme stress at some point in their life. I don't care who we are. Something happens outside our control and it hits our life and it knocks us on our tail. It might be a health stress. It could be something with your family. It could be economic, career. It could be something emotional that happens, biochemical. There's so many things. It could be an environmental situation that had nothing to do with you. Every one of us in our lifetime are experiencing extreme stress in these days because of the economy and the way we respond to it. The majority of people are experiencing some form of extreme stress, at least according to polls. Stress doesn't come from the facts. Stress comes from the meaning that we give the facts. Yes, those things have happened, but the real question is, if we fight what's happened, we got a problem. We gotta decide, what are we gonna do with what's happened in our life? How are we gonna take this? How are we gonna mold this? How are we gonna turn our life around? Because when you come up with a new meaning, you get a new life. What is the single force that controls the quality of your life? If there was one gift our Creator has given us, or the universe, whatever you believe, what is it, what is the one power that you have right now in this moment that can change everything. You have it, I have it, we all have it. It's this one singular individual power that can change anything in our life, regardless of what's happened to us. And I know you know the answer. The answer is the power of choice. The one thing we have in this world is we can't control the events, but we can choose what to focus on, we can choose what things mean, and we can choose what to do. Those three choices, those three decisions, really control our life. It's not so much the conditions of our life that control our destiny as much as the decisions of our life. Try for a second to think about something. Think about your life. And just think about, are there a few decisions? If I were to ask you two decisions you've made in your life, you know, that if you would have made a different decision, you would have had a totally different life. I mean, it may be a life may have been better or may have been worse, I don't know, but you would have a different life. I'm not asking you to, to buy into the fact that you should have known the answers. I'm just I want you to see the power of a decision. How is your life better today because of a decision you made years ago, not just negative ones? Think about it. Sometimes a little decision changes your whole life. Like you decide one day to go to a certain school and you go to that school or you, to go eat someplace and you bump into the person that becomes the love of your life. Or you meet someone and you decide as a result of that that you're going to become a photographer or a software engineer or a business person or a doctor, a dentist, whatever. They impacted you but you made the decision, that's what I really want, that's what, that's what my life's going to be about. And that decision has affected so much of your life, what you do how you live your life, how you spend your time, what you earn or don't earn, you know, who you attract into your life. Beliefs you have all come from some of these little decisions. What you decide to eat from your dinner plate each night certainly determines your physical destiny, right? We all know that, at least to a certain extent. I know there's a certain amount that's genetics, but I'm talking about the stuff you and I can control. So decisions equal destiny. It's not our conditions, 
it's our decisions. So if we want a new life, if we want a new experience, we've got to make new choices. If you don't like the way your career is or your business is, change it. If you don't like your body, change it. If you don't like your relationship, change you first. Because if you change it, you'll bring you to the next one. Maybe it's time to change it too, but change yourself first. If you want to change anything in your life, you have the choice. So there is no right or wrong. I just want to make you aware in this breakthrough session that everything in our life changes the moment we make a decision. And I mean a real decision. A decision is when you cut off any other possibility and you commit to something with everything you've got and you take action. But the big decisions start with little decisions like what am I going to focus on? Because whatever you focus on, you're going to feel. If you focus on all the things that have been done to you in your life, of course you're going to feel like hell. If you focus on all the amazing coincidences that have happened, things that Maybe they were guided, maybe they're not, but things happen. And because of that, you met this person that's your best friend, your husband, your wife, or because of that, you have this ability, or because you were there that day, God, you missed an accident. I don't know what it is, but whatever you focus on, you're gonna feel. If you focus on people don't care, and you'll look for reasons why they don't care, and evidence they don't care, you'll find it everywhere. If you look for evidence that people are really good people inside, that at some level, we all care about each other, you'll find it. Seek and you shall find. The secret is, have you become conscious about your decision making? Because this breakthrough session is really, you want to change your life, make new choices. New life comes from new choices, but you got to make conscious choices. Now we've all done this. I do it still. We all do. But if you want to change your results, you got to become more conscious in your decision making. So think about it. What you focus on, you will feel. Whether it's true or not, you focus on how people don't care, you're going to feel they don't care. Second decision you make is what do things mean? So you focus on something someone does and you come up with a meaning and the meaning is no one loves me. The meaning is they're trying to take advantage of me. Depending on what meaning you come up with and you get to choose the meaning of anything. For some people they say this situation happened with the economy and what that means is I'm going broke. Somebody else said the situation happened with the economy, guess what? That means I'm going to work harder, I'm going to be more creative, it changed everything. Everybody else is going to quit so we're going to dominate the marketplace be able to do it. Is this the end right now or is it the beginning? See, whether it's the end or beginning is your choice. You get to decide because once you make up a meaning, it's true. If you think that this is the end of a relationship, are you going to treat people the same way as if you think it's the beginning of a relationship? No way. In fact, I tell people, if you want to have a great relationship, think about this. Treat people like you did in the beginning of the relationship and there won't be an end. In the beginning of the relationship, when somebody says to you, would you take out the trash? What do you say? Of course, take out the trash. <laughs> and you're happy to do anything, right? But after about six months or six years, you're gonna take them out the trash. You go, what do you mean? What, I look like your janitor? Take out your own trash. The meaning we give things is very different. And so we feel different and our life is different. In the beginning, you'll do anything for someone. Now you make up a new meaning. Why should I have to do that for them? Little choices, like what to believe about yourself, what to believe about other people, whether this is the end or the beginning, start to affect your whole life. And the third decision we make, we decide what to focus on, most of us unconsciously. We decide what things mean, and the third thing we decide is what are we gonna do? We decide to quit, because it's overwhelming. We decide to get strong and focus. We decide we're gonna turn it around. We decide to wait and see. Ultimately, your destiny is determined by what you do. I think in life, there's three things. There's our ability to choose what we're focused on, or to commit, to, to get a result, to put all our intention and focus into something. There's our ability to do the right things, to have the right strategy, to execute. And then there's some grace. There's what some people call luck, some people call grace. There's if you do the right things over and over again and with total focus, sometimes, you know, you get good fortune that comes your way. And you tend to have more good fortune when you're totally focused and decisive and you take lots of action than if you kind of just sit around and accept things like that you don't have a future. We forget that you don't have to be famous to have the ability to change at least your own personal history, to change the direction we go in our life. We have the power to choose even if you haven't before. You can finally say, no more, I won't put up with that within myself or from anybody else. And here's what I'm gonna do differently. That's where the breakthroughs really start to happen. Now the question is, why do some people stand their ground and make something change versus other people just kind of accept things? Why do some people make bold decisions and other people make decisions that are based on trying to hang on to what they've got?
spent my life studying. Because when you can change your decisions, you can change your life. When you can change the force that controls your decisions, you can change anything in your life. At some level, we have certain beliefs and values. But if I was going to make it simple, I'd say there's two things that determine your choices. The first thing is the state of mind and emotion you're in at that moment. Think about it. Have you ever snapped at somebody and had nothing to do with them, it was just the state you're in, right? You're frustrated, you're pissed off about something, and in that state of mind, whatever they said got interpreted through that state, and you made up a meaning like they're an irritant or they're interrupting you, and they weren't. You probably felt bad afterwards. When we get in the wrong state, we make the wrong decisions. When you get in a strong, empowering state, you'll make a better decision. You constantly remind yourself, after every defeat, after every setback, every time you get knocked down, I've got a saying, if life knocks you down, try and land on your back, because if you can look up, you can get up. See, a lot of people, because of failure, they stop, they stop believing. Let me share something with you. You will fail your way to success. Yes, eight out of 10 millionaires have been financially bankrupt. You will fail your way to success. It doesn't matter how many times you fail. It doesn't matter how many times people tell you that you can't do it. It doesn't matter if you don't have a dime in the bank. You will fail your way to success. Almost any accomplishment in the history of the world has come at the hands of people who've taken risk. People who are willing to push the envelope. People who are willing to explore the unknown. Uh, even if you go and you look in the Bible, you know, the, the, the people that are held up as the heroes, they're not the ones who were sitting in their tent under an olive tree, you know? <laughs> they were people who were going out there doing stuff. And, um, you know, the key thing about taking risk is, is learning. You know, and if something doesn't work out, learn from it. And then you're able to move further. We have to always recognize that, you know, knowledge frequently comes at a price. Mm -hmm. You know. Thomas Edison said, you know, 999 ways that a light bulb did not did work. Did not work, right. You know, many of us are familiar with the cleaning formula 409. Why do they call it that? The first 408 didn't work, you know? <laughs> but, you know, you just put these things into perspective and you learn. You know, we just have to, to put all these things in perspective and recognize that we will never make progress unless we're willing to take risks. But we have to take them in an appropriate fashion. Right. Because, you know, there, there's a large group of people who never get anywhere because they're afraid to take a risk. There's another group of people who never get anywhere because they take too many of the wrong mm. risks. They're always getting knocked back into the pond. So that's where this tremendous brain comes in, where you are able to, to analyze. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. And we showed that very beautifully in The Color Purple, when Miss Seeley says to Mr., everything you even try to do to me is already done to you. That is not just a, a rhetorical saying, that is law. That is Newton's third law of motion in physics, which says everything that goes out is coming back mm. it's just like everything that goes up is coming down may take it a long time to come down is coming down <laughs> everything that goes out is coming back it's coming back so to answer the power of manifestation and meditation what meditation does is sync you up with the source what meditation does is allows you to literally tap into the power that created you so that you are in alignment with that. And so when you carry that out into the world, everything that you do comes from the center of that alignment that's coming from the source that we call God, we call divine energy, divine intelligence, whatever name you want to give it to, we call life. When you are synced up with life, life just gives to you.